I think most experts think that herd immunity is somewhere around 70 to 80 percent of the population. And if you think that the actual diagnosed cases underrepresent the the actual cases by, you know, three or four times, perhaps we've had 100 million Americans who've been infected naturally. That's still, you know, less than 30 percent of our population. So um, as we get people vaccinated, we'll, we'll, we'll get towards that 70 80 percent. I think April is optimistic to think we'll have enough immunity that we'll really feel like we have the pandemic under control. You know, cases may go down. We're still going to have people who die of COVID-19, who end up on ventilators, end up in the hospital, just at a much lower rate. So it's obviously critical to those people. So, you know, until we get enough herd immunity that cases are relatively few and far between, I, I don't think we could declare victory. I think April is optimistic, but, you know, we, we don't know. There's so much about this pandemic that we don't know. The, the idea that we need, you know, 80% herd immunity, 70%, 60%, it's really based on other diseases and other models. And so um, we have to wait and see. I, I, and, and again, these new variants that may be more contagious may complicate these models. So uh, I, think, I think people should be optimistic. They should be optimistic about the vaccines. They should be optimistic that there is a light at the end of the pandemic tunnel. I think best case scenario is if, if between 100 and 140 million Americans have, have had the, the virus and we get another 140 million Americans vaccinated, which is not an unrealistic goal, I think we can really start to see the end of the pandemic. And whether that's April, May, June, July, I think those are reasonable timelines to really see the pandemic start to wane and start to get back to normal.